Welcome to Vika Code, the online vegan cooking school. My name is Steve Lin. And today we're making maple butternut squash soup. It's a perfect fall dish. It's got the maple, which is gonna give it that earthy flavor. Some butternut squash, which is gonna add a lot of richness. And we're gonna throw in a touch of cumin, which will really be grounding. So let's go for it. It's a really simple soup. It doesn't take too long at all. We're gonna start off by sweating our onions. And when you sweat your onions, all you're looking to do is sort of a medium heat and you're really just looking for the onion to be translucent. So now I'm gonna throw in the butternut squash and give that a cook as well. So we're gonna sweat that for two to five minutes, depending. You're gonna want it so that it, it's hot and the squash will start to actually soften a little bit. And that's what you're looking for. A little tip is to put a lid onto it and that will help with the sweating of the squash and the onions together and really bring out some great flavor. Now we're gonna add some maple syrup. We're gonna throw that in, mix it in, give it another minute or so, and then add our veggie stock. So the maple syrup's in there two minutes or so. Now we're gonna do a little bit of nutmeg and some cumin and then add our veggie stock. You're gonna to wanna to make sure the stock just covers the butternut squash and then you're gonna let it simmer medium, medium low heat for about 20 minutes until the butternut squash is completely cooked through and then we're gonna take our hand blender and blend it up smooth. Our butternut squash has been simmering now for around a half an hour. I'm just gonna blend it up, add some lemon juice and a little bit of cream, adjust the seasoning and it's ready to go. The lemon juice is really important whenever you're using soy milk. It really helps make it a nice neutral flavor, gives it a nice richness to it. So I highly recommend adding it at that stage. Next, we're just gonna blend it up again a little bit, and then we're gonna add our cream in and blend it again a little bit more. So you wanna check again for the seasoning level, make sure you got all the seasonings right. And the last step, which is really important, it's subtle, but it's really important, is we're gonna add a touch of maple syrup, fresh maple syrup, back into the soup. Here's our beautiful maple butternut squash soup. Thick, rich, delicious, and I topped it up with a little bit of pumpkin seeds. Fabulous, ready to go. 